Do you think someone eating millet in rural India and someone eating sourdough bread in New York have the same gut bacteria? Probably not. The gut microbiome that is trillions of bacteria inside our gut are deeply shaped by what we eat, where we live and how we live. And yet, when it comes to gut health, the advice is very generic. This is because we still don't know what a healthy gut looks like. And the problem is, most of what we know about the microbiome comes from the research done in the West, especially US and Europe. And that means we are missing on huge amount of data from rest of the world, especially Global South. This is not a research gap, this is a health gap. If your gut is influenced by your food, your lifestyle, your environment, then using Western data to define global health advice is like writing a recipe for the whole world by using ingredients just from one kitchen. This is where Professor Tarini Shankar Ghosh and his team from Triple IT Delhi come in. They asked a big question. Are there certain gut microbes that consistently show up in healthy people the same everywhere? Let's hear from him. We analyzed over 45,000 microbiome samples from 42 countries and 28 disease conditions, from big cities to remote villages. We found 201 core microbes and among them 17 that consistently showed up in healthier guts. Microbes like Fecalibacter of Brausnizai, Rosewira Illumorans, Eubacter of Rectale, these kept appearing again and again. What really surprised us was the consistency, how consistent they were. Whether, whether it was Chicago or rural Tanzania, these microbes just kept showing up in healthier individuals. Now this means, even across different geographies, different lifestyles, different diets, some microbes are common to everyone's gut. This is where the HACK index helps identify the microbes that matter the most no matter who you are and where you live. It's not the final answer, but it's the first big step. Because when it comes to gut health, one size fits all just doesn't work. But thanks to research like this, where researchers are finally building up a gut health model, which will be more precise, more personal and more local.